हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 441 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द फोर्सेस इन मेंबर्स सी डी सी जे एंड डी जे राइट सो दिस इज सी डी सी जे एंड डी जे राइट सो वी विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाय यूजिंग मेथड ऑफ सेक्शंस सो बिफोर अप्लाइंग मेथड ऑफ सेक्शंस व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इज दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड the force in this member right so let's say that the force in this member is acting in this direction and let's say that that force is i right and if we consider this whole truss right so we will have this i force which will be acting upward right and similarly here we will have two reactions right so one reaction will be acting in the horizontal direction so let's say this is ax and there will be one reaction which will be acting vertically upwards so let's say this is ay right so we will be interested to find this i force right so then we will be able to consider this right hand side of that cutting section right so if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 so then we will be able to find this force i right and if we assume that the counter clockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that this i force is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point a so we will write plus i and the perpendicular distance of this i from that point a is each each of these member is equal to 3 meters since it is given six panels at 3 meters right so 3 3 and 3 and 3 so 3 fours are 12 so we will write 12 i right so it is plus 12 i now uh, as we can see that all of these l loads are producing clockwise moment about that point a so we will write minus l and we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 l forces right and this l force has a moment arm of 3 meters from this point a so we will multiply this l with 3 let me write that this will be this l this l is producing clockwise moment and its perpendicular distance is 3 so we will write minus 3l similarly this l is again producing clockwise moment so we will multiply it with uh, again 3 plus 3 6 right so this is 6l similarly again one another minus and the moment arm for this one is 9 so we will write it 9l similarly the moment arm for this one is 12 so again it is producing clockwise so we will write minus 12l similarly this one so we will write minus and for this the moment arm is 15 so we will multiply this with 15 similarly this one so the moment arm for this one is 18 right so we will multiply this with 18 so minus 18 l and this is equal to 0 now we can simplify it so then this will be 12 into i and we can take minus l common so minus l so then this will be 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 and plus 18 equals to 0 and from this equation i will be equal to this whole sum is 63 right so we can write it as minus this is 12 i minus 63 l and this is equal to 0 and if we bring this to the other side of equation so 12 i will be equal to 63 l so from this the i member force or the force in this member is equal to 63 divided by 12 l and from this i equals to uh 5.25 l right so now we know that the force here is equal to we can write it as uh 5.25 l right so we will write it as 5.25 l right so now we will proceed this problem by using the method of section so we are uh, interested to find the force in cd cj and dj so we will pass a cutting section from this cj and cd first so if we pass a cutting section so then we will have this kj member force we will have this cj member force and we will have this cd member force right so let me represent those forces so this is that kj force we can write it that this is kj similarly this one will be cj force so we can write it like this and this one will be cd force right so before going to apply the summation 
of moment first we need to have this angle right before going to apply the equilibrium condition first we need to have the angle of this cj with this vertical so let's say that this angle is theta right so now as we can see that this length is 4 so this jd member length is 4 meters and this cd member force is 3 meters right so we have this triangle we can we can say that this length is 4 this is 3 so if this is theta so then this angle is also theta so we can find theta by using this triangle so we can write that tan theta is equal to this 3 divided by 4 and from this theta equals to tan inverse 3 divided by 4 so from this theta equals to 36.87 degrees right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point j or joint j equals to 0 is we can see that this cj force is passing to that point j and this kj is passing to that point j so apply if we apply the summation of moment about point j so we will have only this cd as an unknown in our equation right and these two will be eliminated right so let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that this cd is producing the clockwise moment about that point j so we will write cd minus and the perpendicular distance of this cd from that point j is 4 meters right so we will multiply this with 4 now as we can see that this this i force or this 5.25 l is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point c so i will write plus 5.25 l and the perpendicular distance of this force from that point j is equal to this 3 meters right so we will multiply this with 3 similarly uh, again this l is passing through that point j so it will not produce the moment about that point j so these three l forces are producing the moment about that point j and all of these l forces are producing clockwise moment so again we will write minus l the perpendicular distance of this l from that point j is 3 so we will multiply this with 3 similarly again we will write minus l and the perpendicular distance of this l from that point j is 3 plus 3 so this is 6 so we multiply this with 6 again this one so i will write minus l and the perpendicular distance of this l from that point j is 9 right so we will multiply this with 9 and this will be equal to 0 so from this this is minus 4 cd and if we multiply these constants so this is 15.75 l minus 18 l and this is equal to 0 so from this cd equals to this is 2.25 right so this will be minus 2.25 so on the other side it is it becomes plus 2.25 l and we will divide this by minus 4 so from this cd equals to minus 0.562 l so the sign minus sign indicates that the cd force is acting towards this joint d so if cd force is acting towards this joint d so then this cd force is 0.562 l and this is compressive force right now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and if we say that if this is the positive if in this direction if we assume that the forces are positive right so as we can see that this cj force will have one component which will be acting vertically downwards right in the negative y direction right if this is our positive x and positive y direction right so this one is the cos component so now as we can see that this cj the cos component of this cj is acting in the negative direction so we will write minus cj cos of theta and theta is known which is 36.87 so i will write 36.87 similarly this 5.25 l is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus 5.25 l and then we have these four four l forces they are acting in the negative y direction right these four forces so we will write it as minus 4 l and this is equal to 0 right so if we simplify this so then this will be minus cj cos of 36.87 
and this is plus 1.25 L and this is equal to 0 and if we bring this to the other side of equation so this will become minus so we can write it as minus 1.25 L so from this minus will cancel out and CJ is equal to 1.25 L divided by cos of 36.87 so from this CJ equals to 1.562 L and since the sign is positive so this means that this is the tension force it is acting away from that point J right so this is that CJ member force now to find the force in DJ member right since we are required to find the force in DJ member as well this is the DJ member right so to find that dj member force what we will do is that now we will consider the method of joints right so we will solve uh, we will consider the equilibrium condition at joint j right so then we have to separate that joint j from the remaining truss right so we will separate this joint j let's assume that this ij member force is acting in this direction right so we can write that this is that ij member force right and similarly we will have a dj member force as well right so we can we can represent that dj member force so let's say that that dj member force is compressive force let's say that it is acting towards that joint j right so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at joint j and if this is our positive direction right so now as we can see that this this is that dj right so dj member force is acting in the positive y direction so i will write dj and as we can see that the cos component of this cj which is acting in the negative direction right so we will write it as minus cj so now cj is 1.562 so i will write 1.562 l cos of theta and theta is 36.87 right and this ij is acting in the x direction this kj is acting in the x direction so we have no more forces which are acting in the y direction so this will be equal to zero so from this dj equals to 1.562 l cos of 36.87 degrees so from this dj member force is equal to 1.250 1.250 l and since the sign is positive so this means that the assumed direction is accurate so this means that dj is acting towards that joint j so this means that this is the compressive force right so cd member force was required cj member force was required and dj member force was required right so this is the solution of this particular problem